Hello, in this video we're going to look at taking the price elasticity of demand from this unusual looking demand function. So here we have this demand function. Uh, this is a nonlinear demand function. Although it looks like it, it is not a constant elasticity of demand function. For this to be a constant elasticity, we would have to get rid of this plus one over here. So let's, one, let's calculate the price elasticity of demand at a price equal to $2. So recalling the elasticity of demand formula, price elasticity of demand formula, we're going to take the derivative of, the, price of the, the, the demand equation and then multiply it by price divided by quantity. So here's the derivative. Uh, this minus 2 comes from the exponent that I brought down in front then in this exponent it's going to be minus 2 minus 1 so that's where that minus 1 is coming from right here and then the final step I'm going to look inside parentheses and I'm going to find anything that has a P in it and take the derivative of that so that's where this 1 is coming from out here taking the derivative of P, uh, of P is 1 and that's going to be multiplied through so simplifying we get this expression and then let's just move what's in parentheses down into the denominator using the rules of exponents. So now formulating our price elasticity of demand formula, this minus 2 divided by p plus 1 all raised to the third right there. And then it's multiplied by p divided by q. So moving over a step, here's the p. And then in for q right here, I just plug in p plus 1 all raised to the minus second power. Then these two terms right here in the denominator will just collapse to p plus 1. It's adding up the exponents. And then minus 2 times p is just minus 2p. And then I'm just going to evaluate this expression at a price of $2. So minus 4 divided by 3 gives us a price elasticity of demand of minus 4 thirds. Okay, I hope you found this video helpful.